Hello, dailies and mental gin. Your good old Raffle World King Pixel Art Builder 583 here again with another update video in honor of me reaching 900 subscribers on YouTube. This update is majorly going to be themed on Microsoft Sam Plays Minecraft, Microsoft Sam and Friends Play Left 4 Dead 2, and the M Mystery that I put up. If you spot anything in my other series, stop me for one second, because yeah, I apologize if I am not straightforward with some of my planning whatsoever, and for struggling with some of my initial planning. Everyone knows patience is a virtue in this. This is why Guy Lilink, Edward Moss, Commodore Crusher 9000, and the Raffle 98 to help out in this process. Of course, we're here to provide all the help we can in this. Since I'm pretty sure you remember in the 800 subscriber update from last year, where me and Raffle were helping Pixel Art give out some t s updates for his series, and of course for you guys to check out some of our videos in the meantime. Yeah, and as for my server back at that time which I talked about, I must recall that I wish Spigot would make a stable version of itself in 1.30. Yet, I'm not certain at whether or not we would have to wait until another major update called 1.14 Village and Pillage comes around. I can feel as though the Spigot team is being too lazy to update it to 1.13 and is waiting for 1.14. Patience. Whatever they may end up doing, it may not matter in the end. It's a kind of subjective thing, depending on what Pixel Art wants to do. So Pix, why don't you pitch on for Microsoft Sam Plays Minecraft? Thanks, Commodore. In Microsoft Sam Plays Minecraft, I am certainly aware of the progress rate of Season 7 thus far, despite the 800 subscriber update and the update after, but here's the important part before I fix to improve on it. Do you remember from the update in regards to Season 7 Episode 5 that I was going to intertwine 1.12.2 and 1.13 in some episodes? I will give out a hint for you. Season 7 Episode 7 has some of that intertwining due to one key factor. Modding. When that gets released, it will reveal some of the obviousness of the intertwining just like Pixel Art's Minecraft Adventures had some. However, the experience may end up being different this time around. And if anyone is asking, what about Pixel Art's Minecraft Adventures? I have an answer to that. It is currently a dependent state to where something mysterious or sacred must be discovered or used before Season 5 gets started. Because Swagmaster69696969696 was thinking to me that that series is dead, quote unquote. The only dead series I know of are Microsoft Sam Plays Portal 2 and Microsoft Mary Plays Portal, even though they're already finished. How come Pixel Art's Minecraft Adventures is in a dependent state? What do you mean? It's at a point where certain Microsoft Sam Plays Minecraft content must be uploaded before Pixel Art's Minecraft Adventure Season 5 starts. I want the experience as a life-changing kind of way, just like the secret project I'm still planning out, but this is where I'm gonna update even more. After Season 7 of Microsoft Sam Plays Minecraft, I will start doing major action with it. But the component I need for it is at its beta stage, so slow but steady progress on that. Regardless though, I have another plan for after Season 7. I've been planning on making what is called an aftertime special that acts as a bridge between the end of one season and the beginning of the next. It is, of course, gonna be based on story with some dashes of Minecraft gameplay. And it is going to be canon with Raffle World Life. To put it simply, canon with the series. After that, Pixel Art's Minecraft Adventure should go on for a little while at Season 5. At least before I start Microsoft Sam Plays Minecraft Season 8 and renovate everything that needs to be renovated for it. That is, while I start playing the secret project. 
the potential complexity that I'm gonna give it is gonna be a significant factor and a game changer for that series. All the Texas speech community, and yes, the PAV community. Speaking of season 8, starting with that season, I plan on making what is called a halftime special when I get to the middle of the season. Unlike aftertime specials, I don't plan on giving the halftime ones as much of a storyline. But yes, the specials become canon too, because there may likely be mentions of the events held there. And of course, due to how complex the entire plan is as a whole, and due to increasing waiting gaps with real life and everything, I have my staff working with me in some sorts, if anything. If you have any questions about any of that, you know what to do. What do you intend to do about the 10 variant since you haven't uploaded episodes of that in a long time? I'm still actually planning for some more, but after I do Season 7, Episode 7, I could consider doing that. Yes, I know I said I was gonna do that after Episode 5, but instead other shit got to me. That influenced some of my decisions to make some episodes of that variant at a certain time. Let me guess, time constraints? I get those all the time when making my vids. What are you talking about? You upload almost daily. But yes, time constraints are the answer. And of course, sidetracking of some promising things I want to include in future Microsoft Samplays Minecraft episodes. That's another factor of why I ended up waiting for some time before producing another episode. Along with the you-know-whats from days to weeks to months. But I'm fixing to make things different. Oh, pixel art. If we're all still carrying along with Season 7 by the time Minecraft 1.14 starts, do you plan on using that? Not necessarily, I don't think. That'll depend on how far we go. But then again, we'd have to wait for Optifine to be released by then a few weeks and months. I don't plan on putting us through that again, so I wouldn't recommend using that just yet since there would be no shaders by then, and it would look like the Raffle world never got reformed whatsoever. That is, as I recall. Do you remember how I was vowing not to use 1.12 until I got Season 6 finished? Season 7 may strongly be likely to have me relive that. Now, moving on to Microsoft Sam and Friends play Left 4 Dead 2. It's been a hell of a while since I made a single episode of the official campaigns with all of Sam, Mike, Mary, and Scotty uniting to beat back the zombies. While I was making some more custom campaign videos along the way, I've been having this thought on the back of my head that I should be remaking episodes 11 through 21. The disconnection that some of my people sustained back then was making it look like custom campaign attempts all over again. So I had to get strict about it at one point. But then I started realizing that due to all the pressure that I'd been sustaining, there was not likely a chance that would end up happening. I just didn't want any more disconnections there before I could start thinking about going into episode 22 and beyond. But luckily, I know how we can stipulate in that situation. I'm gonna make a poll that lets you determine whether or not I should remake Microsoft Sam and Friends Play Left 4 Dead 2 episodes 11 through 21 due to the disconnections from Mike, Mary, Scotty, yada yada yada. The options will be remake the episodes and just continue on, which means forget about remaking them, for those of you who don't know what I mean. Oh yes, and since I'm a guy who likes to do whatever he wants on YouTube and does so, I'm gonna give out another option called Do Whatever You Want. Consider that a gray zone for some of my wants and needs there. I'm expecting some subjective feedback based on some of the votes, and I'm putting that up on straw poll. Voting will end on January 21st, so be sure to vote while you have the chance. When it ends, I'm gonna put that up to those of you that are on my Discord server. Now then, 
on to the M mystery. You saw those three parts there after my recent Killing Floor 2 episodes, right? There are two more that are gonna come up right now, so I'm gonna give everyone two chances to guess what I'm gonna do after it gets fully revealed. First chance came up after Killing Floor 2 episode 13, and the second one comes up after this update is over. If you didn't execute your first chance yet, I advise you to pause this video right now and comment your first guess. The full reveal is going to come up after Microsoft Sam Reed's Funny Signs and Errors episode 56, so you might want to guess early before then. And if you manage to get it right in either chance, here's what I want you to do. I want you to keep quiet to all fellow viewers until I fully reveal the mystery. And now then, this is it for the major updates. Minor updates will include Microsoft Sam Plays Killing Floor 2. Two more episodes to go until Season 1 ends. I'll have Sam go into that when it's time. However, we're planning on waiting until the Christmas event in that game ends for that. Team Fortress 2 will go to more of Season 3 when we have the time. Periodic updates will go on as we progress through there. Everything else should be in the breeze unless there is a problem of some sort. If there is, I'll let you guys know about it as soon as I can. Now, does anyone have any final questions or remarks? That was quite a mouthful. I guess you're used to that sort of thing. <laughs> Lol, Arby and the Chief references. <laughs> what about you, Commodore Raffle? Let's just say that I hope that the Spigot team isn't too lazy to update to 1.13, so that way I can get my server up and running in due time for you guys to play on it again. And yes, we are pretty much aware that Purple Town is still being worked on at that sort of thing and Pixel Art is too busy to get that done himself, even with just a vanilla build. That gives me one more reason to hope that Spigot updates to 1.13 by then, since I myself may end up expecting episodes where Purple Town gets newly improved. Along with that one other major city Pixel was planning on. Am I right there? Oh yeah, you're right. I forgot I was fixing to get that city built as well, since after we got Season 7 Episode 5 done thanks to my change of plans. Automatic shout out to you for reminding me of that. And a shout out to our own Link Edward Moss for the help that he gave me throughout the gap of some of our productions, including assistance in Microsoft Sam Plays Killing Floor 2 Episodes 1, 5, 9, 10, and 13. And one to Commodore Crusher as well for the support of some of our content, keeping us driven to our endeavors, and more. And here are some more shoutouts before Commodore makes his question or remark. Ruby Town for continuing overall support of our content, returning to our community, and yes, making a contribution to Microsoft's Sam Plays Minecraft once more. Johnny Ghost for assisting me in Microsoft Sam Plays Killing Floor 2 episodes 5 and 12, some very appealing artwork that he showed us in Gmod, and being very understanding and straightforward with some of what was done. Samurai 2020 for assisting me with KF2 episodes 9 and 12, standing up to the Patriarch in episode 12, when he was the last one standing and being driven and dedicated by Microsoft Sam Plays Minecraft Season 7. Swagmaster69696969696 for making custom intros for me, Edward, and Andrew H by making some other content an inspiration that our content gave him. Andrew H for great support to us, as well as planning a blooper series dedicated to my channel intros. Port and Big Boss for being good friends of me and Edward, as well as making some contributions to Microsoft Sam Plays Minecraft. Toadlover404 for live streaming Microsoft Sam Plays Minecraft Season 7 episodes and making the E joke in his error request to make us all laugh. And many more. So, Commodore, got your remark or question? 
course, I've got my own things to attend to. Speaking of, I've been trying to get CCC up for quite some time since episode 1 was released half a year ago. Over time, stress got to me and that made me want to get myself cracking on the work much more. <laughs> but yeah, when I'm not doing that and when I'm not taking care of real life stuff on my own, I'm real happy to help Pixel Art out some of this stuff whenever it's, it is needed. Because, after all, I thank him for getting me started and dedicated ever since 2016. But I am the one who strongly believes that patience is a virtue and that everyone should have. Even if it's hard, it'll all pay off in the end, people. I swear! I've ever waited patiently for lots of videos to come out while I did some activities for her to enjoy, so my advice to everyone else is to do the same while you are all waiting. Whether it will be Pixel Arts videos, whether it's Raffles videos, Edward's videos, or even mine. We all work hard as a crew for all your entertainment, and despite the problems, we all try not to let that stop that. I once had a girl. Or should I say, she once had me. <laughs> Very nice. Anyway, Commodore makes a great point. Everyone should be patient for some of our videos to come out and feel free to do other stuff while waiting. That's how I kill off my own time, when I wait myself, and when I get bored after all. But other than that, that's it for this update video. Thank you for 900 subscribers. Thank you all. Keep the count going up, yo! And if you got any questions about anything, feel free to leave a comment as always. This is Pixel Art Builder 583, and the rest of us here, signing off. Peace out.